Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vanessa Veronica. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new, click subscribe, join my team. If you're a returner, thank you for coming back. Today's look is very much inspired by the Euphoria HBO series, which I've been wanting to do a look like this for some time and I just haven't really had the kind of, I guess, guts to do it. Um, so I figured I'd do it today. Why not? It's Sunday, it's in the evening, I have homework to do, I'm just gonna stay home, you know? But definitely I get the kind of like festival rave type of like vibes from this look and I wanna go like, Party. But that's not the case. So if you're curious and you want to stick along and see how I got here, let's go. Alright, I brought you in a little more close and personal and to start off the face, I'm going to use the Say Slip Tint in the color 4.5. Using a sponge, I'm just going to take that and dab it. For concealer, I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh Colourpop Concealer, and this is in the color Medium 100W. Because I do have some kind of redness, I chose something that's a little closer to my skin tone rather than highlighting. Yeah, I have a lot of blemishes today. I'm also just putting some on the lids and the eyes. Now because this color is a little closer, it's a little darker, I'm gonna go in with a lighter concealer and mix the two. For that, I'm using the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. This is in the color Light Neutral. And you'll see the difference. It's gonna be pretty light. Because later on I am going to be using some pigments, like darker shadows or kind of stronger pigmented shadows, I don't want it to stain my eye, so I'm really, as you notice, put a little bit more concealer than I normally would on my lids. Let's start working on the eyes. Today I'm going to be using the Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. Um, it looks like this, I've used it before in my channel has all these colors. I'm going to go in with this color peach just all over the base of the eye um, and then we can kind of layer on other colors. This is a little darker than that concealer but I'm just again setting that. I do want to start with the water line eyeliner. So I'm taking a brown liner and I'm just going to put it on the top for now just so that my eye makeup doesn't get messed up. Using my favorite trick of all time, just getting some scotch tape. I don't joke around, I say that I use this. I put it on the back of my hand just to get some of that stickiness away. And for this look, I definitely want a sharp edge, which is why I'm going for this tape thing. And, Let's grab that palette, and I'm going to take the color, let's start with flower, it's this light pink color right here, and we're just going to bring that onto the crease. in with the color Carnival. It is this, actually it flip-flops right here. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go in with the color flip-flops right here and then Carnival. So I'm going to grab that flip-flop color and we're going to go on the inside with this, like right here. And I'm really just going in circles and kind of bringing it upwards a little bit to meet that pink. And I'm going to grab that carnival color, that deeper purple, and I'm just going to now put that on the corner. And slowly bring it into the lid a little bit, but not too much. Grabbing a brush, this is a flat definer brush. It looks a little like this. 
And I'm gonna use this to kind of just add a little bit of that purple under the eyes. So the carnival darker purple, and I'm just going to kind of make it be the eyeliner. Now for the center of the eye, I do want a glittery effect. I'm going to be using the Stila Sea Siren kind of eye liquid eyeshadow thing. It looks like this. And we're just going to go with this in the center of the eye. First, I'm going to take this tape off. Ooh. Let's go ahead and finish the eyes by putting on some mascara. Using the Milk Makeup Mascara, I'm just going to take this and coat the lashes with it. Just grabbing a fluffy brush. This is the Lorac Contour Pro Palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to go in with that light contour color. It's not really bronzing. It's just kind of bringing some of that flatness out. Or washing it and bringing some on the forehead. I'm just going to take that light color and just kind of contour the nose a little bit. For a blush, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. This is in the color Apricot Kiss. And just going to put some on the brush and tap. Let's go ahead and set the under eyes. So I'm using the Huda Beauty setting powder and I'm just going to use this applicator that it comes in. Actually, maybe not. Just using kind of like another small shading brush. I'm just going to pick that up. And we're going to set the under eye. For a highlighter, I'm going to use the the Cream Shop highlighter palette. There's no names on the actual kind of um, colors. So I'm just going to take, I think, this color. I'm going to put some on the nose first and the bridge. Just like right here and right here. I'm going to take it a little bit on the brow bone. And I'm also going to put some on the cheek. And I'm going to see, you can see it's like a lot. So I just want to kind of place it and then we'll dust it off. I think for this look there is a lot of highlighter happening. So I'm bringing it up to the temples. And then we'll dust it off. Just using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to start to diffuse that out and kind of brush it off. And hopefully it gives us the highlighted effect. I'm trying to think like if I want more sparkle and I kind of do. I just don't know if I want this sparkle. Ooh, that looks pretty. Let's do it. All right, going back into this palette, I'm gonna go in with this color Stargazing. I'm just gonna tap my finger. It's like an orangey and I think it contrasts the purple and blues kind of nicely. I'm just going to tap that on the center of the lid. Now take in a black liquid liner. This one's from e.l.f. I'm going to do a little wing. The best part. So I'm going to use the Essence Day lip liner. This is in the color Keep Receipt. It's like a pinky color. I'm just going to go in with this in the lips. Using the Express Gloss that I really enjoy. Um, oh, don't fall. Just going to put that on my finger. This is in the color Sugar Melon. It looks like this. It's like a nudish gloss. Smells like lemon. I mean melon. <laughs> lemon. So here's what's going to make it euphoric inspired. I've got these kind of jewels. And as you can see, there's plenty of colors. And I'm tempted to go with 
maybe purple and white. So let's get this party started. This is the part that's like a little difficult. I'm just taking the jewels and putting them along that kind of angled, oh, this one's really stuck, that angled line that we created. That's why I wanted it to be sharp. Alright, we're gonna keep it simple. Because <laughs> this is harder than, it think, than you think it is. Yeah, there's the eyes. I'll zoom you in so you guys can see a little better. Okay, so that pretty much concludes this look. I hope you guys had fun watching it and it inspired you and kind of taught you a little bit on how to go about your best way to get your, your for, euphoric look um this is mine it's also like very festive i feel like it could be worn during a festival like a music festival again you know my rule you know my motto makeup has no rules you could do what you want when you want how you want as long as it makes you feel good i feel like something's getting in my eye it's the glitter i've gotten glitter in my eye so sorry if i'm blinking like a lot but that is kind of like i guess a warning for this look you could get glitter depending on the fallout and definitely want to go to kind of some a rave or party but <laughs> it's got nowhere to go um and so so yeah so let me know what you guys think i hope that i helped you in some way and that you have a wonderful rest of your day please remember if you haven't already join my team subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one